Hi everybody, this is Nikki, and I am here to do another video that is my personal experience, not to be used as medical advice. Um, I am, I've been busy all week trying to look at Carolink reports and looking at all of these patterns, um, and there's so much information in the Carolink reports, and I want to bring visuals to show you guys what I saw in my Carolink reports, um, knowing that it's not going to be true for all people. Um, but knowing that if you've come to this video, there is some chance that you're trying to solve something that's going on with your Bee Gees. Um, so uh, last week, I think, or a week and a half ago, whatever, I did a couple of videos about um, manual suspends and uh, care link minimum, I mean, uh, auto, mode care link, auto mode minimum delivery. Um, and I was trying to show in the care link report kind of what the fallout was from those in my BG. Um, well, today I wanted to do some comparisons between a few different nights in auto mode, and the reason I'm doing these comparisons is because what I really want to drive home is that potentially every night in auto mode can be different, which can not only send our BGs high in the morning. For those of you guys that are like, I haven't even had a bite to eat and my blood sugar is already rising, um, auto mode can definitely do that because of this reduced rate of insulin but it also has the additional superpower of sending you really low in the morning um, before you even have a bite to eat or you know whatever it is. It can make every morning look different. Um, I do think for me, the vast majority of my mornings were struggling to bring down climbing blood sugars, but there were just enough of those lows that I was, you know, I was thrown for a loop. Um, now looking back at my Carolink reports, I'm like, there are, there are so many patterns and, and there is, so I don't know if you can figure it out in auto mode. I currently sit in manual mode and I'm very happy. Um, but I do know that having this information might help you to be able to um, woman handle your auto mode or man handle if that's what you prefer. But anyway, okay. Um, so I'd like to show you four different nights and these, I will, I'll say that these, these nights occurred in either September of, or October of last year which was a time when I was all in auto mode. I was not questioning anything. I was just trying to make it work. Um, and the reason I say that is because now I question all of it. Um, but I question it because I'd like to maybe go back in and see if I can work it better. Um, this is not necessary information. So these are four nights all within the same week. Okay, um, I'm gonna show you two patterns and then what it would mean from the time I wake up until noon, right? So this, so this, uh, this is two patterns. I'm repeating myself. I'm mom. Sorry. <laughs> I did that. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna call it night number one. Um, what we have here is around midnight. I had a falling blood sugar. This fall in blood sugar set off or SG, right? This this fall in SG, and I believe this fall in calibration factor as well, um, initiated minimum delivery. That's what that is right there. Um, but also just reduced microboluses, right? Reduced size microboluses. So this is a microbolus and that's a microbolus. And you can see that they are very different in size. Um, so all of this right here, even though I'm getting microboluses, if I looked at my graph screen, I would see pink dots there. They are not all equal, right? Like some are huge and some are not. And I'm going to say huge, but that I guarantee some people get huge ones. I don't. Um, but this is a sizable one for my own, you know, microboluses. Okay. So anyway, so I have a falling blood sugar. It sets off a very reduced rate of insulin. Um, and I will say right here, this may have been three hours at a 25% um, you know, rate. So then I have, it begins to climb. I think that's calibration factor, but let's say it's a whole bunch of stuff and it's calibration factor and SG and uh, no insulin on board or whatever. It begins, auto mode is trying to fight it. It's giving me some bigger micros. I wake up in the morning, I have my coffee bolus. Same thing every single morning. I did the same thing every single morning. In fact, once I went into auto mode, I had to do more insulin for my coffee. I had to wait longer to start my coffee and I still struggle with those highs. So this right here was a climb, but this was a climb amidst my best efforts to not let it climb without doing additional insulin. Um, so regardless, and, and it wouldn't have given me any addition. It wouldn't have given me a correction because I would have had all that insulin on board. Anyway, so I start to climb. Um, and now this is what you see. So from midnight to six, you see a lot of white, right? That's a lot of minimum delivery and a lot of reduced, uh, in, you know, microboluses. Then from six to nine, you see a lot of insulin, right? 
So white, pink, I guess that's the way to, to look at it. At this point, by the time I do my next thing, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, and even this fall right here is starting to set off less insulin again and another climb. Um, this isn't to say you can't be in auto mode, but if you're aware of it, you know, maybe you can handle it better. That's, that's, um, that's night one. Same pattern, night two. Okay, uh, same thing. It was climbing, so it gave me a couple of bigger boluses. Then it began to fall a little bit, right? So it gave me some minimum delivery. Um, it started to kick in some medium-sized ones, um, but again, this entire package of four hours may have been at the equivalent of a 65% um, temp basil. You know, as I said, I exercise at a 50% temp basil and this I was sleeping. So a 65, that's going to send me high. And as you can see, I'm climbing here. I do my same coffee bolus. Um, this one included a correction because I was, I was already climbing by the time I did that. Um, and here's six to nine again with all that insulin. And that's auto mode trying to fight it. Um, too little, too late in my case. So that is pattern one. We'll say the, you know, the little insulin. Um, the, the auto mode little insulin night. Um, now we have pattern two. From 12 a.m. to 6 a.m., what you see is a solid pink. I mean, that's just solid insulin. Some bigger ones to try to, you know, to try to head off that high, which it did, you know, it did okay. It brought it back down. Um, solid insulin. Here's my coffee bolus. Uh, I, think that was, I think that even included maybe a 0 0.3 correction. Here's a little tiny spike from the, the caffeine. Um, and then here comes the plummet because I'm going into my morning with a lot of insulin and adding extra insulin for my coffee because that's what I had to do at that time to fight the typical mornings where there, where, where there was a high. And what that does is it sets me into 6 to 9 a.m. a minimum delivery. Um, not a full, but let's say 6 to 8.30, right? Or 6 to 8.28, whatever to, you know, I didn't get kicked out, so it couldn't have been a full two and a half hours. Um, then then it picks up its climb and it tries to start fighting it again. It's, um, it's pattern number two. And I will say about this pattern that auto mode, this is my belief, auto mode is going to have a harder time with me than it's going to have with somebody who just has relatively stable blood sugars because it has to make big accommodations for what I'm doing, whereas the next person who can get away with 10 grams of carbs without it sending them high or can get away with 20 minutes without insulin, you know, I mean, it's, um, it's got, it has to work less hard for them and it can do smaller adjustments in order to keep an even line. For me, it really has to work harder. And then there's bigger, it creates problems in trying to solve them. This is another night in, um, Pattern two, so we called the first one little insulin auto mode night. This is a lot of insulin in auto mode night. Those are terrible labels, but you got you get the picture. All right, so what we have here, this was a falling blood sugar at around midnight, so it kicked me into minimum delivery. This minimum delivery started to send me high, which initiated higher insulin, uh, a higher insulin dose. Um, that higher insulin dose going into my morning, then I add my coffee bolus and I have a, a blood sugar drop again, which sets off minimum delivery. And then I have that rebound. Um, it's pretty clear. I mean, that's pretty clear. For, and again, this is clear for me for my case. Not everybody's gonna get that. Um, now, and this is what I'd like to do in, an, in the next video because we go to the endocrinologist and they go, whoa, you have high blood sugars. Um, you know, maybe you need to change your insulin to carb ratio, but I won't do it now. I'm nine minutes into this. I won't do it now. I will just say that if that's what I was doing in effect, I did not change my setting, but I did greatly increase the amount of insulin I was doing per cup. That was not, that was an inflated insulin dose back in manual mode, which is where I am now. I'm back to doing insulin for six grams of carbs. I was up to 16 grams of carbs. Um, and if I did 16 grams of carbs now, I would plummet. I would be, I mean, every morning I'd be sick. So I was doing that in order to cover those highs. So maybe that's a solution, except for it's not necessary every morning, which put me back in the position that it was 75%, you know, okay. I still had to fight those highs. And 25%, it, 
you know, low blood sugar. I don't know if I'm making any sense at all. It's a beautiful day and I'm going out for a walk and I hope you guys have a great one. Thanks for watching.